The USA win the toss, put Canada into serve. And away we go. The RTBS system has been tested by the referee. That's a real-time body sensor. It's a special piece of modern technology attached to the shirt of every player. And Dane will be able to analyze KCOWs, jumps, amount of room and time used up on the court. It's a lovely little piece of extra information to monitor the performance of the four ladies on court. It's really nice to see technology infiltrating the sport, getting so much feedback. We've seen players wearing heart monitors, monitoring their fitness as well. And it's extremely important getting back those statistics, make it extremely interesting as well for the fans. For me, it's the experience of April Ross that could be the ace in the pack for Team USA. She took a silver two years ago in Vienna with Lauren Fendrick. She's done the Olympic silver and bronze pathway and I believe that could just give April Ross a little edge against Pavan and Humana Paradis in their first ever World Championship gold match. The battle has begun between Kleinman and Pavan at the net. Two incredibly tall players, both with an amazing history on the indoor game. You know, Pavin and Melissa Humana Paredes, they actually played Ross and Kleinman on the AVP tour in the United States earlier this year. That one an absolute battle, but Kleinman and Ross coming away victorious in the third set, 17 to 15. You know, four of the five meetings between these two teams have gone to a third set. I expect this one to do the same. Break for the USA. It's a repeat of the four-star match earlier this season, isn't it, Dane? When uh, these two teams went for the gold in uh, Itapima with uh, the USA coming out on top. And if you think about it, that was, what, June the 18th? Uh, just over, a, a, just under a month ago. And um, Canada will be looking for revenge after a defeat by the USA in that four-star FIVB World Tour. But the stakes are an awful lot higher here today. 60,000 US dollars of prize money for the winning duo. And of course, that ticket to Tokyo, which is probably worth more than any check anywhere in the world. You're absolutely right. The players would be out here if there were zero dollars being offered. They would still be fighting for that Olympic berth. It means so much for each team and for the sport of beach volleyball. We know how popular beach volleyball is in the Olympic Games and what an honor it is to go there representing your country. Drawing three clear, the USA in the early exchanges. Service error gives an easy point back for Canada in this rally point scoring rule of beach volleyball. Whether you're serving or receiving serve, you still score the point if you get the ball down to the sand in your opponent's court. Two to four. Here's Melissa Humana Paradis from Toronto, Canada, with the service. Oh, and April Ross, uncharacteristic service error there. Serve receive error, I should say. Sorry, Dave. Yeah, a little bit of a shank right down the middle. She shanks it off to the right. Alex gets her hand on the ball, but cannot continue the play. You see the focus. That ball dropped and went off the wrist. You want to pass the ball. About two inches above the wrist is the sweet spot. If it goes off the bones of the hand, you can't control it. It, it can go right or left. Over 13,000 spectators filling the Rottenbound Stadium here. The roof is on as well. It's pouring with rain outside, to be honest, but it hasn't distracted the fans from queuing for hours to watch this gold medal match for the ladies' competition here today. So impressed with the crowd here. You thought if Germany wasn't in the final, maybe the fans might not pack the house, but completely wrong. It is overfilling the queue outside. People cannot get in and an ace serve. So a little tit for tat back and forth there. An ace for the Canadians. Now it's an ace for the Americans. And that is April Ross, a five-time winner of the best serve on the beach and she shows you how she's got a jump floater as well as that traditional top spin rip that we'll see later on 
Pavan sets up Humana Paradis on the attack for Canada. Beats Kleinman at the net. Alex will be a little disappointed with that. A blocking seemed to come of age in their semi-final for the USA. But right through her hands, takes her visor off. God, she knows she's been beat. When that ball squeaks right between the arms, it can become so frustrating. Well, it's a great save from Humana Paredes, but Kleiman at the net gets the ball down to the Canadian court sand. And a three-point advantage, 7-4 to four, to the Californians. Well, what I tell you, Alex Kleinman matches the height of Sarah Pavin, six foot five. So when you put them up against one another, you have a battle, a war at the net. And that is what this one is going to be. Advantage, United States. Here's a 29-year-old from Manhattan Beach to serve. Almost there for the USA. Good shot from Pavan to put it away. April Ross in the backcourt right here. Her defense has been stellar all weekend long. Or shall I say all week long in that backcourt. Making the dig, it just goes over the net. That's a lovely roll shot from Melissa Humana Paredes. Keeps Canada in the chase here. You see the little smirk, the little smile after she digs it up and then he chops you down. And not even close, the United States going the other direction. Humana Paredes so good at converting defense to offense. And here is Melissa with service. Again, cross court, targeting April Ross. What a save from the Canadian. And she's put it away. Superb defense. And just the right amount of weight on the ball to tie the scores at 7 all. Great play from Humana Paredes. Humana Paredes, the silent assassin, the smiling assassin, is at it again. Takes April Ross's best shot, digs it up in the air, and then in transition, she puts it right on the spot. And she is letting her emotions fly, pumping up her teammate Pavin. Three quick points in a row for Canada. Kleinman this time over the top of the block, but the cover is there from Humana Paredes. Can April Ross finish this for the USA? Pavin on two and gets it away. Good play from Canada. Four quick points on the board to retake the lead. Pavin had to be thinking, I got to get myself involved in this one. It's all about Humana Paredes making spectacular D defensive plays. And then it is Pavin putting it away. A little gap between Alex Kleinman and the net. And Pavin finds it. Look at this crowd. On fire. Both of these teams have been in four final four events on the world tour this year. So they're no strangers to the big occasion preparing for these uh, world championships with exceptional performance it looks like we're going to a timeout usa have seen enough they take their timeout early in the opening set and you can see clearly why five points in succession for canada and coming very quickly as well dane yeah you go from a three-point lead of seven to four and then all of a sudden you're trailing by two i think a smart timeout by the american let's listen in I'll be honest with you, Nick, it is so loud in this arena that it is I'm hard to as well. even hear the players talking. Great communication, though. Slight adjustments to be made as you see that World Championship trophy in the foreground. 
Everyone wants that coveted trophy that was won in 2017 by Kira Hawkenhorst and Laura Ludwig from Germany. Umana Paredes looks to pick it up where Canada left off as they side out work for the USA. Pavan puts the ball down, Canada continue with this impressive point run. Now at 10 to seven. Sarah Pavan really doing her job up at the net after Humana Paredes tees her up. She goes the opposite direction, great court awareness, really high volleyball IQ in that shot. USA need to stop this. Good pick up from April Ross after the ball stumbles on the top of the net. No let ball, of course, in beach volleyball. Down the line is a perfect choice of shots from uh, Melissa Humana Paredes of Canada, who can do no wrong at this point in the opening set. I was going to say, is she perfect so far when she digs the ball? I mean, it's almost a guarantee that she's going to convert it offensively. There you see Alex Kleinman's block. It's too late to form. She's got to get up, put that block in front of Melissa Humana Paredes and make her make a decision. Right now, Humana Paredes going up there, just freewheeling and going wherever she wants. She's the best attacker in the tournament with 129 kills. April Ross is the target of the serve. Up goes Ross, over the block. But once again, the cover is there. The second contact shot from Pavin is successful. 12-7. This is turning into a real rout by Canada. I mean, these points just keep on building up. Remember, it was 7-4. It's an 8-0 run currently by Canada and almost unheard of in a world championship final, giving up that many points in a row. Got to give credit to Canada. Humana Paredes playing spectacular defense in the backcourt. Two points away from the tech timeout. Both American players calling for the serve. Humana Paredes is on the attack again. That takes her kill stat to 130. Best in the tournament. It takes Canada to 13-7. And the USA are in serious trouble here in the hunt for gold. This is just incredible what Humana Paredes is doing in the backcourt. Everywhere, anticipating, and then she's challenging the bigger 6'5", Alex Kleinman, right in her face. Remember, Humana Paredes is just 5 feet 9 inches tall. Oh, it's another poor serve received from April Ross. 14-7, total of 21 on the board, halfway point of the opening set, and Canada are in complete control. Pavan and Humana Paradis have their confidence in their game at an all-time high, and it's exactly the opposite for the USA. Their confidence has been shattered, their self-belief is on the floor, and really, I'm not sure that they can come back from this and save this opening set, Dane. I, I don't think they can. I, I haven't seen, I don't think this on center court. 10 points in a row. It was seven to four. All of a sudden it's 14 to seven. And the United States just has not had an answer. They had to burn their time out. Tried to stop the momentum at nine to seven. Then they couldn't stop it again. You only get one timeout per set. And so they had to wait to the technical timeout. And we always say a good technical timeout score, you know, 10 to 11, maybe 12 to nine, but 14 to seven in the final. Right now, the United States has to just take a deep breath, start passing the ball better. But I thought the issue would be getting past Sarah Pavin. But no, the issue is getting the ball to the sand with Melissa Humana Paredes in the backcourt. She has been off the charts, almost 100% converting when she digs the ball to putting it away. I have never seen a 10-point run in the final of a World Championships, Olympics, or in an FIVB World Tour Final Four match, to be honest. It's quite remarkable. And of course, Canada now, with a spring in their step, feel that they can do no wrong. Out of the tech timeout, Canada continue with service. Humana Parades. Oh, that was just 
long and that is a lucky escape for the USA 8 to 14 but a mountain to climb for the two Californian ladies and Nick you know what I'm going to say it's not even for the USA about coming back and winning this first set they need to be concerned about playing better getting their game back up to what they know they're capable of doing and this is how you do it April's got it up Another point back for the USA. Good play from April Ross. Good support from her partner, Alex Kleinman. Yeah, whatever happens in this first set, the United States just needs to get back to that aggressive type play. Beautiful dig in the backcourt by April Ross. There's the blocking signals. One's indicating Alex will block the line and oh. they pick off Pavin trying to get out of the way. You don't see that play very often. <laughs> Float serve, all sorts of movement, catches her up high, tries to get out of the way, and she got her hand caught in there. The right hand clips the ball, and that's a point for the United States, so all of a sudden, there is life. Four behind now, the USA. They start to put a good point run together. Three in a row. Good serve from Kleinman. Right to the far right of the court. And it's April Ross with the serve. My apologies. Kleinman with the block at the net. This is quite a remarkable match. Now the USA are starting to tear calendar apart. Yeah, we did not see this coming at 14 to 7. The United States starting a run of their own. We thought this thing was out of control and maybe out of reach for Team USA. They had different plans. Four in a row, now it's 11 to 14. They are right back in it. What I love about Alex Kleinman throughout this whole tournament, she has been so animated, so emotionally involved in it, more so than I've ever seen from her. And she answered a question the other day during the post interview and she said, we need to bring it 100% every time if we're going to win a championship. You just never know which play it's going to be to take you over the top. Two blocks to Kleinman, one to Pavan. But Pavan has nine kills to Alex Kleinman's six. Interesting stats there. The battle of the net being won by the USA at the moment. At the moment is the word. So Canada have called their timeout, trying to stop the momentum of Team USA. They were 14-7 clear just a few minutes ago, but the Americans dug deep, held their calm, cool and nerve, and now they're just three off the Canadian leaders. It's another good serve from April Ross, targeting Sarah Pavan. Kleinman's there at the net, good cover. The silent assassin does it again, Dave. This time a little bit of help from the net. Just taking a little bit of the pace off the ball and catching the Americans out. That turned into almost a joust. April trying to go over, but she's got to go to Pavin, right? Because of Humana Paredes is 100% in converting. And she does it once again. The retreating Alex Kleinman not in position just yet. And finally, Canada puts a point on the board. Pavan serves, that left arm swing, has uh, Ross at full stretch, same story for Pavan, but the Canadian can't keep the ball up, another valuable point back for the USA, now at 12 to 15. And the United States creeping and chipping away at that lead, it is down to three if you can believe it. Kleinman sets up April Ross. She's a little further off the net than she wanted to be. Pavan now with the strike. And that is a good shot from the Canadian blocker. 16 to 12 now. Now the question is, why didn't Pavan hit the first ball? The first ball was hit maybe 70%. April Ross made it look easy, picked it up. And fortunately for Pavin, she got a second opportunity. Then she rips it, 71 kilometers per hour. April's still there, but the ball's hit too hard. You got to do that on the first opportunity, not the second, or it will bite you down the stretch. 
Umana Paredes. Cross court serve to April Ross, who now attacks for the USA. Hands are there. Pavan and Kleiman are at the net. Kleiman comes out on top again. Alex Kleiman gets that ball down to keep the USA in the hunt here for this opening set. Pavan needs to take care of business at the net because her partner, Humana Paredes, is digging absolutely everything. She needs to convert this and put it away for the kill. But Alex Kleinman has different plans. She stuffs her down. If you're Pavan, you're thinking, this is incredible. My defender is digging every single ball. She's got to step up to the same type of level. April Ross serving. Lovely short little jump float. Pavan attacks for Canada. That's a good strike of the ball from Sarah Pavan. I think she heard you, Dane. Much better play from the Canadian number one. She hits the ball at such a high level at, at six foot five with her long arms that even if you're on it, if she puts a little extra velocity on it, it is so difficult to control. Good deep serve from Pavan. April Ross now up at the net. Cross court right to the feet of Humana Paradis. 14 to 17, still three off here. The USA need to start scoring on their serve as well as their side out game. Alex Kleiman with the serve. Oh, service ace. Both the Canadian players thought that was going out and at the end of its trajectory, it just dropped like a stone to connect with the baseline. Pavan starts to duck out of the way so quickly. And as a passer, you never duck. You want to open up so that if you decide later in that serve to play it, you still have an opportunity. If you duck, you have taken yourself out of it. And so another point gained back by the United States. And with a side out here, they can cut it to two. Second service doesn't work for Alex Kleiman. It's back with Canada to serve now. Sets the ball for Ross. Oh, Humana Paradis is there again at April Ross's full power. But she fires the ball into her own net. Point back for the USA at 16 to 18. Finally, right, Humana Paredes had converted just about every single ball that has come her way. This time, another absolutely beautiful dig by Humana Paredes. But this time, she tries to cut the ball a little too sharp, ends up in the net. 16-18. That's a good serve. Here's April Ross. Right down the middle. The linesman flag stays down. 17 to 18. They may well get themselves out of trouble here, the USA. What a comeback from 14-7 down. And if this does happen, it would be crushing to the confidence of Canada having a 14-7 lead going on a 10-point run. Right there, it shows in the middle. You see the run by Canada, but it has been all the United States playing with a sense of urgency down the stretch. Oh, it's a fumble on the serve received. 18 all. Spectacular serve from April Ross, just when the USA needed it most. Well, I don't know if I've ever seen anything like this, and I am guilty. I think we both are. We thought this was over in the books, this first set at 14-7, and the way that Canada was playing. But that's what makes April Ross and Alex Kleinman so tough. Ross, a warrior, a world champion in 2009. Pavan is the target of the serve, who now attacks for Canada. Swings that left arm right on the line. Advantage back to the connects. Speed on the ball. 86 kilometers per hour, so she is starting to heat it up. And what happens? She becomes unstoppable with that kind of hit. If she hits at 60, 70%, she'll get dug all day. But if she brings it like that, she will score the points. The set for Kleiman. Pavan has it covered. Good again from April Ross over on two. And again, Humana Paradis is all over the back court and she puts it away to give Canada set points. 
Nick, this is ridiculous. The defense of Humana Paredes. Every ball that comes over the net, she's getting her hands on it. Here's an over on two poke shot. You think Canada's out of sync? Humana Paredes is there, and what does she do? Offensively comes back, charging, and gets the ball to the sand. Well, Pavan's found a bit more power with her play, and Humana Paredes can do no wrong on court right now. Let's see if Canada can wrap up this opening set with serve. Here's Pavan. Right to April Ross, who now attacks over the top of the block. Another great shot from the experienced American player, April Ross. She is so cool under pressure, Dave. Very consistent, especially emotionally. She doesn't get too high, doesn't get too low, stays in the middle and does what needs to be done. Canada in a great spot, still just needing a side out to win the set. Set point number two for Canada. Humana Parada sets up Pavan, but she's beaten at the net by Kleinman. Alex Kleinman, great play. Both of the American players holding their nerve so impressively here. Melissa Humana Paredes tries to save a close pass to the net, and then she tries to cover, but it's not enough. Pavin does not get her hands on that knuckle shot. Humana Paredes gets it up, but Pavin wasn't expecting that ball to be in the air. No turn and burn to get that one up, and we are all tied up. Pavan on the serve receive, now on the attack for Canada. April Ross gets her hand there to keep the ball up. Second attempt from Pavan. On the line, great shot. Set point again for Canada. Melissa Humana Paredes setting it up nicely once again. Here's the poke shot. Look at April Ross with the left hand. Beautiful movement in the backcourt to get that up. Then the set is on point. She goes way high. Lineman jumped too sharp into the angle, and so a big point for Canada. Set point number three. Can they close out this first set? Kleinman attacks for the USA. Off the block, down to the sand. Good play, and again, they're dealing with the pressure. The Canadians turn that dial, turn the screw to pressure the Americans, and they find the answers just when it's needed most. So impressed with the USA's comebacks in this opening set. That was so close to being blocked. It hit both of Pavin's arms. A really solid block right there, but fortunate by Kleinman. April Ross needs a big serve here. Targets Pavin. Down the line she goes on the call from her partner, Humana Paredes. It's a good shot from Pavan, and it's set point number four for Canada. If you're Canada, you're thinking, we got to close this thing out because if Alex and April get an opportunity to strike, they will do it. If they get set point so many times, look at the focus, the intensity in Sarah Pavan's eyes. Haven goes to April Ross with her serve. Ross attacks now for the USA. Cross court. Humana Parades has another brilliant save. Second attempt from April Ross. And it's stuffed down to the sand by Sarah Pavan. The big block called upon just when she needed it most. Canada take the first set 23 to 21. And here's a look at it. The end of this play, April Ross in perfect position, and look at the dig, making it look easy. Alex Kleinman will set her, and I almost thought this was too far off the net for Pavin to stay, but that is her strength. It hits her once, and then she throws it down. Check this block out, hits her there, and then she extends the fingers, throws it straight down. What a beautiful play. 
quick reactions by Pavin, and that is the big play that she has been waiting for to compliment her partner, Humana Paredes, who had maybe one of her best sets of her career. Take a look at the first set statistics. Aces, four to two for America. Unforced errors all equal at one, and then the side out percentage just about equal. Four to two also in blocks for the United States as we take a look at the USA serve place, uh, placement. Humana Paredes right there, 41%. Pavin about 41%. No particular direction in terms of their game plan. They're mixing it up. And here's Canada's pass accuracy, 65%. This is why they're able to run their offense so smoothly because it's the passing, the first ball off a reception is on point. And this crowd loving the volleyball. A very educated crowd here for in Hamburg for beach volleyball. They know their stuff. They've been enthusiastic the entire week and a half that we have been here. And this is pretty incredible. With no German team on the home court, they are having a blast. Completely full 13,000 here at the Rottenbaum Stadium. Canada take the first set. And they take it 23 to 21. The USA must win the second set to stay in the match and force Canada into a third set tie break. April Ross to get the second set underway. Pavan sets up Humana Paradis. in the backcourt from Humana Parades and on the second attacking shot from the young Canadian she puts that ball down to the sand and the first point it's like she knows where the United States is hitting the ball before they even hit it she's sliding into the area anticipating and then what is most impressive is the way she's converting from defense to offense Ball's out of bounds, and I think there's going to be a challenge. April Ross wants a challenge. The ball was called out of bounds initially. I like this challenge. That ball was very close to the sideline. Remember, you get two challenges per set. If you're unsuccessful, then you lose those challenges, but if you're successful, you retain them. So the United States trying to make it happen. You know what I like about that ball? Looks just out of bounds. What's the call gonna be, Nick? Ball is out. out. <laughs> that is so close. <laughs> so close. Oh. Certainly justifiable to challenge. What I was gonna say is what I love about what the Americans did in that first set, even though they lost it, they started playing better. They got themselves back into it. They've not got to fall into the same trap, America, here in this second set. And that's a little more like it from uh, April Ross. A bit more creativity needed at the net. First point on the board for the USA. No luck at all with the tape in the net for Alex Kleinman. Hoping that the ball would just trickle over onto the Canadian side. Not so. Here it is. Just catches the top. I don't know how that ball didn't trickle over the net. But unfortunate for Team USA. There's the back set from Kleinman. April Ross. Good shot. Good dynamic play from the Americans. I like that. Back set to the right side for April Ross. Kind of opens up her offense a little bit. Oh, 
Oh, Melissa Humana Paradis is in sensational form. This lady can do no wrong in the back of the court, and then she moves forwards to make the attacking play with absolute pinpoint accuracy. She's just absolutely in the zone defensively. It's a real treat to watch. Kleiman sets up April Ross to attack for the USA. That was off the head of Sarah Pavan by the look of it. Pavan a few times is in that perfect spot. And once again, the ball squeaking through her right and left arms there, touching both. She's got to get those arms just maybe two inches closer together, and that results in a stuff block. Finally, she is human. Melissa Humana Paredes cuts that ball into the net. And just a couple of hitting errors for her this entire match. The last three times these two, these two teams have played each other, it's gone to three sets. But the USA must be careful here with Canada. They really have to win the second set, that is clear. But they need to watch letting Canada get into that rhythm again. Somehow they need to try and cut Kumana Paredes out of the match. Maybe more serves to Pavan could be the answer for the USA. Well, what they've done is they've switched over. They're going to Pavan quite a bit. Now they, they serve Kumana Paredes quite a few times. And they're kind of searching for a combination. And that's the sign that uh, you don't have really one player that you want to go to because they've been equally tough. Lovely shot from April Ross. You heard the line call from Alex Kleinman as April came in. Couldn't really see where Melissa Humana Paredes was, and I think that's been the big issue. Not a lot of vision for April Ross, and this time, listening to her partner executes a nice high line shot. Six to five to the USA. Good pick up from Humana Paredes after the kiss of the ball. Well, that Kleiman tries to drop off the net, but it's not quick enough. And that's the play that Canada loved the most, firing the ball at the body of the opponent. There's the retreating Kleinman. And Humana Paredes goes to her before she can get set. Smart play. <laughs> April Ross trying to go high hands, trying to get the block to touch it as it flew out of bounds, but Sarah Pavin, smart enough to pull her hands back. No touch right there, directly out of bounds. Point for Canada. Line, line. That ball's out of play from April Ross. Eight to six for Canada, another point on the board. 14 total score, quick side switch. No advantage from one end or the other in this uh, perfect stadium. With the roof on, keeping the rain out and not affecting any of the play or today's schedule. Big hit, cross court by Kleinman. April Ross yelled out line for the shot, but Kleinman said, I got this sharp angle, no worries. Climbing with a big uh, jump float serve to Melissa Kumana Paredes. April Ross has got the cover that the USA need. And that ball is good from April Ross, right on the line. Scores are all tied once again at eight all. Smart play by the Americans. They did a 
drop into the angle. April slid into the line, got the free ball, and then converted it nicely with that shot. So they're running some defensive schemes, trying to confuse the Canadians. Romano Paredes again, absolutely brilliant. Couple of free balls there for the USA that they should have put down to the sand. And the Canadians make the Americans pay. Right here, Alex Kleinman needs to be ready to go up at the net. The ball up and over, unable to convert it. And then finally at the end of the play, it's Melissa Ivana Paredes who puts it away. And Sarah Pavin knows that they have to clean it up a little more than that. They somewhat dodged a bullet right there. Ball is out of play. There's the break for Canada. Remember, when there's a total of 21 points on the scoreboard, we take the official technical timeout. And this is a good time for Canada to make their break. Now at 10 to 8 against the United States of America, having collected the first set 23 21. Oh my goodness. Kleinman gets that ball down. Getting a little bit scrappy out there. Broken play from both sides, but this is just the dig of the match for me so far from Humana Paredes. Just brilliant. Yeah, you think the ball is about to hit the sand and Humana Paredes gets underneath it again. Here's a good look down the line to finish it off is Alex Kleinman. Pumped up, ready to go. The United States just down by one, but it's a risky game, trading blow for blow, and Canada already has that first set. Great block from Climate. Couldn't come at a more important point in the first half of this second set. Tying the scores at 10 all with one more point to be played before we take a 30-second break. Ivana Paredes trying to challenge and blast the ball through. The block of Kleinman, there's a block, signals. She's blocking angle, that's what she was shaking, those two fingers mean angle, she jumps into the ankle late and it's the right call. April Ross ready to serve for the USA. Serves it nice and short for Humana Paradis. There's another block there from Alex Kleinman. And once again, the USA turned the table on Canada. Looking like they're running out of pace and steam. Looking like the focus has gone. And then two quick blocks from Kleinman, and they're right back into this match. So nice by Alex Kleinman. Starting to get some traction. And the weather has been a little bit cool. But look at the queue outside. Oh. People waiting to get in to the event. Completely sold out. 13,000 plus packing the stadium. And this is a crowd I don't think we have ever seen before. Yeah, records will be broken when we do the final figures on just about how many people have come to finals day. I think that queue's big, Dane, because uh, Germany, the local boys from Hamburg, Tolle and Wickler, Play the number one seeds, Moll and Sorum of Norway, in the last match of the evening here at the Red Bull Beach Arena. Technical timeout, 30 second break is done and dusted. Here we go, second half of the second set. It's a must win scenario for Team USA to take this match to a third set tie break. Canada on the attack. Humana Paradis reads the court beautifully. This lady has done very little wrong in this match and continues to fire that ball down to the sand from every angle and every area on court.
Nice shot, Humana Paredes. She has been the target of choice for the Americans. And she has answered the call so far. Sarah Pavin a little late on her block forming at the net. If you're Pavin, you're thinking, you know what? I gotta step up my game to what her partner's doing. Another ball right between her arms. This is fascinating. We've seen at least four or five balls going right through her arms. She just needs to make a slight adjustment and close that gap to get the block. Great play from Kleiman. She comes off the net, drops, gets the shot, and then this is a wonderful attacking play. Now it's time that it's getting so good at that drop defense yeah. where she drops off the net, gets her hands ready up in the air, and really has been making a lot of plays this week in this World Championship. Must have touched it on the block. April Ross with the rainbow shot. Beautiful. Over the top, down to the sand. Three points clear now, the United States. And they're on track to take this second set, forcing Canada to a third set tiebreak, Dave. This is looking good. For me, Kleinman has raised the game now. Yeah, she really has up at the net, and what a different story this second set is. The United States up 14 to 11. They were down 7 to 14 in the first set. Turned things around, started playing better. That ball just on the outside of the line. Cause for celebration for Team USA. But there's a lot of volleyball left in this one. Pavin, eight kills to six, Kleinman on the other side, but how about the successful blocks? Alex Kleinman dominating six to two. So Canada have called the, the timeout here. A stop in play. Just trying to break the focus and momentum of Team USA who are three points clear. 14 to 11. 72 jumps for Pavan, 69 jumps for Kleinman, who serves for the USA. He's done that, a good serve receive from Humana Parades, gives her the confidence to tool that ball off the block of Kleinman of the USA. And that certainly justifies the call of the timeout by Canada. Very valuable point back on the board. Solid high hit, Kleinman with them control the United States trying to improve on last year's finish where the U.S. got a second in the 2017 World Championships. And that one finally out of reach of Humana Paredes. And I think you spotted it, Nick. Alex Kleinman really starting to step up her game, precise on her shots. They're in a good rhythm here, Team USA. Well, Kleinman dropping off the net there. Didn't really help at all. Pavan, very quick with a strike on the ball. Melissa Humana Paradis, I should say, my apologies. Here she is with service. Kleiman sets up April Ross to attack for the USA. Again, it's read perfectly by Humana Parades. Goes over the block, but April Ross provides the cover this time. The point goes to Canada. Humana Paredes again. Multiple digs in the same rally. She's just keeping it alive. Look, she's about seven feet away, but she moves, puts it on top of the net for her partner, Pavin, who this time takes advantage of an open net. A little fist pump, emotion, 
and Melissa Humana Paredes has been everywhere today. Kleinman, that ball is out of play, I'd say. It's uh, all square once again. Canada now putting together a nice series of points. And it's all down to this lady. Melissa Humana Paradis, 26 years of age from Toronto. In her 11th season on the FIVB World Tour. Oh, get down, she screams. April Ross as she fires that ball. Taking anything you can get right now because Canada has really made some incredible plays throughout this match. And it has been very difficult for the Americans to get the ball to the sand untouched. And so every single time that ball falls for a point, it is time to celebrate. Kleiman, jump float serve to Melissa Humana Paradis. Now attacks. Kleiman's there with that block. She's already put six away. April Ross now. April Ross is getting the better of Sarah Pavan at the net. Pavan needs to find her block here. Well, Pavan's got multiple times, like right here. You gotta put that ball away, and it's just a poke shot to April Ross. April Ross, two-time Olympic medalist, a world champion in 2009. She is going to eat that shot up. Humana no Paradis again. This lady, no matter what the outcome of this match, is the best player of the four on court. She will be certainly my player of the match. Pavan with service, 16-17. Back set for April Ross. Over the top of the block. But Humana Paradis is there. Kleinman takes advantage of her height. Certainly up against Humana Paradis. Kleinman comes in at 1 metre 94, 6 feet 4. And she's one of the smallest ladies on the court at 5 foot 9 or 1 metre 75. Melissa Humana Paredes makes a dig. Sarah Pavin gets a little too greedy on the set and sets it over the net. You have to keep that set on your side and give Humana Paredes an opportunity. April Ross needs a big serve here now. Again, great serve received from Humana Paredes. Oh, wow. Just throws April Ross in the angle. She goes to her knees and only can watch this shot and hope that it's out. A little rainbow jumbo shot, pokey to the corner. Wow, how about the accuracy there of Humana Paredes? The USA need to close out here. Vital that the Americans side out. That's too long. 18 all. The USA have to win the second set. If they let Canada back in here, then Canada will win the World Championship goal for 2019, 2-0. As we said earlier, on the last two occasions when these two teams have gone up against each other, it's gone to three sets. That's what we're all expecting. But the USA call a timeout against Canada with a scoreline of 18 all. Raise your hands and clap, 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 clap. Canada trying to make history, trying to win their first ever medal in the World Championships, and it could be gold. They're just a few points away for making it happen for the United States. The last one to win was in 2009 when it was April Ross winning with Jen Kessie. Here's the U.S. pass accuracy, 70% in that in-system square that you see at the net. Been very accurate, but it has been the defense 
of Melissa Humana Paredes that has caused them problems. It's not about a lot of hitting errors for the U.S. It's just about getting past Pavin, then getting past Humana Paredes. And she has really proven what a great defender she, ha she is here on this world stage. April Ross. Turn and burn from Pavan works. Can she finish it now? April Ross has her hands there in time. Ross for the USA. Pavan with the block. And Humana Paradis is the only player on the court that can kill the ball right now. Canada take a 19-18 lead. And that could be the turning point for the Canadians in their quest to take gold. Canada searching for their first ever World Championship medal. And at this rate, it could be the ultimate, the one that they all want. It could be gold for Canada. Well, they're sure playing and making a run at it. Not only at the net with Pavin, but most definitely in the backcourt, Melissa Humana Paredes again making spectacular digs and finally terminating the rally, getting the kill to the deep corner. And it is pumping up Sarah Pavin. Well, the lip reading of Pavin's comment there was great job to her partner. I would say sensational job. Kleiman sets up April Ross. Well, almost there again, Humana Paredes, but the USA level the scores. They have to win this second set, the Americans, to stay in the match. Almost there. Not many balls have hit the sand without Humana Paredes getting at least one hand on it. This is a huge side out for Canada. A lot of pressure on the United States to manufacture a point here while serving. Climbing goes to Humana Paredes. There's the set from Pavan. Cuts it. Oh, April Ross gets her hand there. Can she finish it? Humana Paredes saves. Now she attacks for Canada. Kleinman dropping off the net. Not quick enough, not at the right time. It's match point for Canada. Huge side out for Canada. One more point, and it is gold for Pavan and this lady. Melissa Humana Paradis has been sensational in this match. She has lit this court from start, and is this now the finish? Gold medal point for Canada. Pavan serves Kleinman. Kleinman on the attack for the USA. Oh, and it's a save from the USA. 20 all. Still in the match, the Americans. Some real California grit and determination here from Alex Kleinman. And uh, Humana Paredes beaten. Only for the second time in this set in the backcourt. Can the USA force this match into a third set tiebreak? You have to win by two clear points. Canada need to side out here for a second match point. Humana Paredes sets up Pavan with the back set. Left arm swing. April Ross has it covered. She now attacks for the USA. Pavan with the block. Canada, match point number two. <laughs> Canada have never won a Women's World Championship medal of any colour since the World Championships was created by the FIVB in 1997 in LA. Could their first ever World Championship beach volleyball medal be gold? Match point number two for Canada. Humana Paradis with the service. Jump float to April Ross. April Ross now goes forward to strike the ball. Strikes the ball down to the Canadian sand. And it's another save from Team USA. Quick side switch. 
That is a wonderful arm swing. At a critical point in this set, Canada are denied their second match point. Can the USA score on serve here? It's Kleinman to serve. It's a jump float to Pavan. Pavan now attacks for Canada. Lovely swing, that left arm spike from Sarah Pavan, taking full advantage of her height. Beautiful high ball shot from Sarah Pavan, takes it early clean and powerfully to the sand. Match point number three for Canada. Pavan with the service. Once again, that pressure dial is turned down on the USA. Good serve received from April Ross. Pavan is there! Gold for Canada! It's the block from Sarah Pavan that gives Canada their first ever World Championship medal. And Melissa Humana Paredes and Sarah Pavan are the world champions and they're on their way to Tokyo 2020. Brilliant! Sensational! It's two sets to zero. Canada are the world champions of beach volleyball. Tears of joy. They're great rivals throughout the tour. The Americans have beaten them twice in the last two meetings. But in the big one, the gold medal match, it's Canada that beat the USA 2-0. to zero. This lady was remarkable. Melissa Humana Paredes, for me, the player of the match, has lifted her partner, kept her calm, and Canada's first World Championship medal is gold. What a very special moment. There's the trophy at 60,000 US dollars in prize money and automatic qualification to the 2020 Summer Olympic Games in Tokyo, Japan. That is how big this match was. And that is how much it really means to Canada. Sarah Pavan cannot believe she's done it. Kleinman, it's still a career highlight for her, taking silver. April Ross, who had to settle for the silver two years ago when she was playing with Lauren Fendrick. has to settle for silver in 2019. Well, it was Germany who won this gold two years ago. Laura Ludwig, of course, and Kira Valkenhorst, who walked out with the trophy. And Germany say goodbye to that trophy. It's going to Canada. Sarah Pavan and Melissa Humana Parades who went through such a roller coaster ride. First set up 14 to 7 and only just won the opening set at 23 to 21. It was a day of tenacity from Team USA that they just got picked at the end of that second set 